Hey guys, Michael here. Uh, just going to do a really quick tutorial for you today on how to move a model uh, from Maya to 3D Coat um, and get the subdivision smoothing to show in 3D Coat so you can paint it up uh, or UV map it and paint it up and then move it back into Maya so um, the paint, uh, the, the texture map uh, is applied correctly to your subdivided model. Uh, so you'll see I've got my model here. Um, it's just my standard small robot guy. Um, he's pretty low poly if you have a look. He's only um, 17,000 faces. Um, but if we subdivide him by pressing 3, it's uh, 218,000. And uh, that number is going to be important, so keep that in mind. So the first thing we want to do is we want to grab all of our um, sub tools or um, parts of the mesh and we're going to go edit mesh uh, no, sorry, we're going to go to mesh and we're going to go combine so that makes it one object so we can export it um, and then I'm just going to lower it back down to its initial subdivision. I don't think that really matters but that's what I'm doing. Uh, then we're going to go to file and we're going to go to uh, export selection. Uh, we're going to turn everything off and I'm just going to put this on my desktop for now. All right, so that part's done, let's jump into 3D Coat. Okay, with 3D Coat open, um, we're going to select Paint UV Map pe uh, Mesh, and we're gonna open our guy. Um, and this is the part um, where you need to pay attention. So, uh, you wanna make sure you've got the subdivision uh, for the smoothing selected. So, it's gonna import your base mesh, which for me was like 17,000 polys. Um, but if you want to be able to subdivide to paint on, you're going to need that um, available so um, for it to be able to smooth it correctly. So we're going to click the 219,000 one. Um, keep UVs or auto mapping that depends on whether or not you've UV mapped it already. Um, let's just say auto mapping for the sake of it. Um, and this is important also. This would depend on whether or not you're going to be using smooth UVs uh, in Maya. Um, if you're using RenderMan generally, I think you're using smooth UVs, um, but it really depends on your workflow. So um, let's say smooth but keep corners. Uh, sorry, smooth keep edges. Um, and just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep the textures um, at a low resolution so it's quick. All right, so here's our model. Um, you can see that the smooth uh, subdivision is already applied. If I hit six, you'll see you get the lower subdivision. So uh, there's the topology. If I hit six, it's gonna give me that subdivision. Um, so you can go ahead um, and I think it's already been UV'd, yep. Um, really poorly, but it's fine. But you can add your textures now to it really easily. Um, so let's just make him red for the sake of argument. All right, so you see that's all working correctly. Um, so now we want to bring him back into Maya. Um, and we do that uh, by just going File, Export Objects and Textures. Um, I'm going to overwrite the existing OBJ. Um, it doesn't really matter because um, we don't even need to re-import the OBJ into Maya. All we're trying to do here is um, just get the texture information because, well actually no, if you've, if you've UV mapped it in 3D Coat then you'll have to replace your OBJ in Maya because obviously the UVs will be different. Um, so in this case it has been um, UV'd in 3D Coat. So I'm going to re-import this guy uh, with this texture map. And we're going to replace. Um, and then we want to re-import our low poly mesh. If you went to mid, it would take the one that's the um, 220,000 um, poly one, which we don't want. Um, and I'm going gloss metal because um, this guy's got some gloss on him. Um, I don't need tangent normals because I'm not, I don't have any on this me uh, mesh. So we're going to just export glossiness and color, and then we're going to click OK. And then that's exported. So we'll jump back into mice and have a look. Okay, so I've just got my desktop here. I'm just going to grab the uh, OBJ and drag him into the scene. And then get rid of that. So you'll see he's back. Um, subdividable, just like he was before. Set three to subdivide him properly. Um, and now we're going to apply 
the textures to them and do a quick render just to check it out. Um, so I'm probably just going to speed up this part because you know how to do this already, I'm sure. All right, so you can see I've just quickly applied that texture. Um, I probably need to play around this with the specularity and stuff a little bit more, but let's just do a quick IPR and see how that looks. All right, and there he is. Um, so I'd probably need to do a little bit of work on getting the specularity and stuff um, working correctly for this guy. Uh, but you can see that it's got the texture, it's applied it correctly, and the subdivisions are working. Um, and you've got your mesh ready to go. So um, this was something that sort of tripped me up a little bit when I sort of first tried to do it. I wasn't actually selecting the subdivisions and stuff correctly when I was going between the two programs. So uh, if this is something that's been bothering anyone else out there, I hope it's helped. And um, yeah, so yeah, the real short one today, guys, after my 20 minute ones that have been going up recently. Um, but yeah, I hope you've liked this one. If you do, uh, just click the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do, because I'll be putting out more tutorials. I might even do another one this weekend, because this one was so quick and easy to do. Uh, we'll see how I go. Um, so yeah, I um, hope you liked the video, um, and happy rendering. Yeah.